Hello, so this is how to attach a bolt-on neck, um, just about any bolt-on neck. And what I want to point out first is that you never, you're never going to try to jam it in this way. Sometimes that'll work if you've got a really like oversized neck pocket, but hopefully it won't go that way, so don't try to force it, because this is actually a trapezoid. And you may not notice it here, but if you look at the heel, the width of the heel here, and then if you go up here to the nut, you can see it is tapered. It gets skinnier as it goes, so that is trapezoidal. So, you're going to, you always push it in from the top. Okay, so, and sometimes it's a, ideally that would be a, a nice snug fit where you just have to put just a little bit of pressure to get that in the pocket. Um, you shouldn't have to force it in, but and for this, often I would use a uh, guitar vise like this one, but um, most of you this summer are not going to have that, so I will show you just how to do that laying down. So do make sure that I just told you not to push it in this way, but there is sometimes some wiggle room, so it comes in from the top like so. And then you do want to make sure it's seated. So then I would go ahead and you want to make sure that the back of the heel is all the way to the bottom of the of this neck pocket here. So that is very important because if you don't do that, you may not be able to in intonate your guitar. So do make sure it's fully seated. And then if you had like a quick grip clamp or something, that could be useful. Uh, you can take some old mouse pads, an old uh, camping, like sleeping mat, um, carpet, a carpet remnant, so, you know, something to protect the guitar. Uh, this is just a foam pad. This is for kind of guitar maintenance, so it's got this neck cradle here. And then, before these screws go in, you must wax them. You could use soap. You can use uh, chapstick. This is what I like. Uh, you just dip it in. You don't don't get carried away. You just dip it in a little bit, and you know, I mean that is more than enough. That's almost excessive right there. And then uh, this is called the neck plate, and these other three screws, by the way, are already waxed. So. And you may or may not have one of these. It's kind of just a little washer. It's a little plastic washer. It doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, I'm not even sure why they include that, honestly. I, there's really no reason for it. If you have just the chrome neck plate, that is perfectly adequate. You just will want to pay attention. There is a finished side that's going to have a higher polish these edges will be slightly rounded and you'll be looking for the countersink for the head of the screw to kind of go in. So this side there's no countersink. So pay attention to that. If you do have one of these, it'll go like that. And then that sits on top. And then you can drive these in by hand, obviously, but if you have a a drill, a cordless drill, a drill driver. Um, don't don't take it all the way home, but just just get them in. And I'm going diagonal here. And then I'm going to do that same pattern. Getting it a little bit closer to tight. And I'm just going to make sure there's no funny business. I'm going to look here again, make sure that is tight. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and slung them up a bit more. But I don't, I really don't want to do the final tightening. Um, with with a cordless drill. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I do that, but um, you, you really want a lot of experience. 
before you start doing that. Now these should be pretty tight. So I would do the final tightening by hand because you can feel it a lot better. And so I have that, but most of you won't have that. So we'll go ahead and put it down. And you want them pretty snug. And then make sure you check in here as well. Make sure there's no gaps. You know, make sure that's tight. Tight all the way around. And that's all there is to it. Cut.